I'm Dominique Lay, your neighborhood reporter in Waco. Accessible parking can be tough to find in our community, but I'm telling you about one local organization that's working to fix that. That first night when we played here, I just was like holding back the tears because I was so frustrated and because I wasn't getting to see him play. Michelle Gerard visits the Challenger League baseball fields twice a week to watch her son play baseball. And finding accessible parking is always a problem. We're having to leave work an hour early in order to be able to get a parking spot here because there's just right along the edge. And then there's, you know, no ramps or anything for the walkers or wheelchairs. It's very difficult. And so you did this ramp in the back specifically for the fields? Yes, ma'am. I saw one coach on the field who created a solution for himself. The side exit, I kept getting blocked. Somebody would just park there too close, etc. Challenger League does have one parking lot with accessible parking, but Gerard says it's still too far from the fields. I thought by the time I found a parking spot and by the time I would have walked over here, the game would have been over. So Mobilize Waco is pushing for you to use an app called Parking Mobility. A lot of cities around Texas have done this and it's been very successful in improving access to parking for people with uh, mobility limitations. And then I'm going to go down here and put in the license plate and then I can hit submit. It would allow you to report accessible parking violations all across the city. And then people will get a ticket but then they'll have the option of paying a lot less and getting some education about why accessible parking is important. It's an enforcement that could change lives. Everybody has a right to be involved in whatever, but if you can't get there, then there's no point in even trying to go. Mobilize Waco is looking to collect data by you using the app right now. And it's available on Google Play and in the App Store. They'll take that data to Waco City leaders to find out just how many accessible parking spaces are still needed. Your neighborhood reporter in Waco, I'm Dominique Lay.